let's roll out the recipe. Quick and easy is what I'm talking about. And I have another quick and easy recipe that I'm dropping on you. It's one that I, I, I kind of feel very proud about because it, I, I like to put twists on different things. And a stew is something I like. I like a hearty stew. Whether it's stew chicken, vegetables, stew, stew peas. I like a hearty stew. This one, I, I put a little twist on it because of some, some of the ingredients that I got inspired by. One of the ingredients that I got inspired by were these sausages. I think I used them on the show a couple of times. It's from a guy, local guy, Stefan Grossberg is his name, Del Mano sausage. Remember I told you about it? This one is a Jira sausage, Jira flavored sausage. He has an entire range of sausages, Italian, chorizo. And I'm using these sausages, guys, um, just a nice little rough chop. And I'm making a sausage and bean stew. I'm using three beans, red beans, black beans, and chickpeas. Chana! That's right. So I'm just gonna get my pan on the oil and get these sausages in here to get a nice sear. So just allow it for a couple of minutes to render down. So while they are, let me show you what I have. I'm, I'm using three spices. I'm using good old jira, roasted cumin, we have something here in Trinidad called gram masala. We use it in our curries. And I'm using some coriander. So all these spices will build on those natural flavors of the jira sausage. And they will kind of come together and build this tomato-based stew. I, I, I have here three beans, some tomato sauce, and some, out of the can, some diced tomatoes. My sausage is just about ready. Just want a nice sear, make sure it cooks. And I just want, as I told you, I'm taking them out. I'm gonna put back them in a little later, but don't worry, right? But I just wanna take them out now and allow them just to sit for a little while. Just wait, guys, you will get back in the stew. Take them out. Just allow them to do its thing there. In this lovely, hot flavored, jira scented oil. I wish you could smell it. I am going to add some more ground jira, some spices. Jira goes in there. Gram masala and some coriander. Important phase, you want the spices to cook off in the oil a little bit. Um, if, if you don't, just allow it a couple minutes, a minute or two, just for the spices to cook off. You're gonna taste the raw spice and you wanna taste it all kind of one flavor, everything complementing each other. At this stage, I, I'm going to drain some vegetables. So I have some onions straight in there and I have some peppers and get that cooking. Mix everything in, flavor it up one time. I season the layers. So I am going to just add some salt and pepper here at this stage. Salt and pepper. And just when the onions just about getting translucent and the vegetables are cooking, I have some garlic that I want to add. Um, I don't like to burn the garlic, so I'm adding it. Last in terms of the vegetables. Then that garlic will kind of get in there. My onions, my vegetables are ready. Now I'm going to add back my sausages as everything is cooking. So my sausages go back in vegetables meeting sausages. Give that a stir to combine. And this is the base of the flavor of this stew. At this stage, guys, I'm adding my beans. I told you it's a sausage and bean stew. I have some red beans. This is actually great if you have some leftover beans. So I have some red beans, two red beans, and I'm throwing that straight in there. You can use it out of the can. These black beans came out of the can. I kind of was in a red, white, and black mode. Kind of represented Trinidad a little bit. Um, so red, black, and white. Red beans, black beans, and Chana is my white beans. <laughs> but three beans goes in there. And you hear that? Yeah, mix all that in together. This is just because I like color and I like a little vivaciousness 
when I'm cooking. But if you only had, let's say, red beans or you had chana, um, leftover chana, you, you could have just actually used one bean in here as well. I just wanted a little action happening in my pot and you can see that beautiful color. As I told you, this is a tomato base stew that I'm doing as well. So I have some tomato sauce, about a half cup of tomato sauce, straight out of the can guys. This is quick and easy. That goes straight in there. And a, out of the can, a can of diced tomatoes. The tomatoes just kind of goes well, I think. That tomato flavor, with a little sweetness with all that jira and spicy um, curry flavor kind of thing that you will get, get there. So you mix that in and this kind of forms your stew. At this stage, I just want to add about a cup of water. If you have stock, you can add it as well. Chicken stock or beef stock, but a lot of flavor in here. And you just allow this, guys, to simmer, bring to a boil, simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes and then you will have love. One pot, one stew, it's amazing. 10, 15 minutes for the most. So I have one that has been simmering here for the last 15, 20 minutes at least, and it's all nice and ready to plate. So guys, you can use some rice, mashed potatoes, whatever you like with your stew. I have some basmati rice. Basmati rice goes really well with Indian cooking and Indian flavors, jira, cumin, yeah, that kind of thing. So I, I wanted the basmati rice. So this really is simple, you know. All I do now is get these wonderful beans and sausages all over there. Want to make sure I have a little bit of everything. Dinner is served. One pot stew, boil some rice. Guys, look at that. Try this sausage and bean stew. It's fantastic. Lovely, hearty flavors just waiting to pop there. Mm. It's delicious. Wow. Guys, try the recipe. Check out our YouTube channel, Cup of Joe Caribbean.